the Columbia River Gorge is one of the most beautiful and iconic landscapes in the Pacific Northwest. To locals, it's simply known as the Gorge. Visitors here find themselves surrounded by lush forests and stunning vistas. Secret waterfalls lure those with a sense of adventure to this pristine natural playground. In fact, the gorge is home to the greatest concentration of waterfalls in North America. For me, these trails are a home away from home. I'm a canine handler with Mountain Wave Search and Rescue. This is my dog, Leroy. He's my companion and also a search and rescue canine. We're up on Wind Mountain, one of my favorite places in the gorge. He's a wilderness air scent dog, so we go out and we look for people, generally in open or wide wooded areas, and he runs and he will alert me to any person that he finds in the field. I'm kind of the mountain wave trail beast, so when they have particularly difficult terrains to go to, <laughs> uh, they generally request me by name to come up and, and, uh, and come out and help with those operations. The gorge is my sanctuary, and it has a special place in my heart. I appreciate it in a whole new way now after the fire. On September 2nd, 2017, a fire was started not far from here at the Eagle Creek Trailhead. It was reported at 4 p.m. Overnight, the blaze exploded, expanding to 3,000 acres. Fueled by winds and high temperatures, the fire spread westward, blanketing the skies in smoke. As it grew, it combined with the nearby Indian Creek fire and expanded even further. Ultimately, it burned over 48,000 acres. A teenager playing with fireworks started the blaze. It was Labor Day weekend, and lots of people were out on the trails. It was a really hot day, so we had people on the trail that were in bathing suits and flip-flops, and they just were not prepared. They certainly were not prepared to spend the night. Yeah, and we had, what, ages from, I think, about two-year-old to late 60s. Yeah. People who had backpacks with some supplies to what we called the, there was a group of girls that was the bikini brigade that, uh, <laughs> that literally just had shorts and bikinis on, and all these people weren't, you know, weren't planning on having to do a 14-mile hike up and over to Wadham Lake. And the fire moved 13 miles that night. Overnight. The fire continued to grow, and hundreds of people needed to evacuate, including Stephanie and all of her animals. We're a nonprofit children's program. We use animals to connect with the heart of kids. We have 34 livestock, 34 animals um, to teach kids with. My sister said at one point, you need to start loading things in your car and take everything you can get in your car out of here if the place was gonna burn. And I, I looked around and I thought, this is 25 years of my life. What the heck do I take? I don't even know what to take. So obviously the animals were the first choice. But other than that, I didn't even, I wasn't even sure what to load. It just, I wasn't sure what to do. We were thinking about what plans, you know, in the worst case scenario, would we have to let the animals go, so I was trying to write phone numbers on a miniature horse in paint in the dark. And because their bo it, the body was so small, I was having trouble with that. Um, and uh, yeah, we were very concerned until about, I think it was 4.30 in the morning, the trailers arrived and it was just like this miracle when they all drove up and, and came out to help. We were fortunate to not lose any buildings and not lose anything. Um, a little bit of revenue and a little bit of scare, but there was folks that lost their house. Um, it was really scary. The flames forced people and animals from their homes, but raining ash was also dangerous, especially to local fish hatcheries. 
some of our staff started seeing the uh, smoke coming in from that, that direction. And later on, if you look, look behind you, that hillside was totally engulfed in flames. And we could literally feel the heat uh, from that mountain standing right here by this water. That's how intense it was. As a consequence of this fire, we had to remove a million and 700,000 fish from this fish hatchery. Some of those fish went to uh, our sister hatchery, which is Oxbow Hatchery, and some were taken to other locations around the state. If the water isn't flowing, then the silt will deposit over the eggs or over the fish, whichever the case may be, and can suffocate and, and kill them. We'll be waiting for this, this creek to stabilize before we move back in here with confidence that we can keep those intakes operating as they're supposed to be. The fire started on Labor Day weekend during the busy tourist season. Businesses were forced to close for weeks and the lost revenue hurt the local economy. Finally, on November 30th, over two months after it started, the Eagle Creek Fire was declared officially contained. The Columbia River Gorge hasn't seen a wildfire like this in roughly 100 years. It was a very emotional event for many people. Some cherished areas will never be the same, and accepting that fact hasn't been easy. It was pretty dramatic looking at it. You know, and those, those trails are my home away from home. I spend at least one, if not several days a week on them, just to stay in shape for what we do as a canine handler and search and rescue, uh, but because I also enjoy them. And so it was a, it was a pretty big blow for me. But, uh... Trey's backyard. That's my <laughs> playground. That's my playground. But the Eagle Creek Fire didn't destroy the gorge. It burned in a mosaic pattern, affecting some areas more than others. As summer begins in the gorge, the Forest Service is hard at work restoring popular hiking trails and sightseeing destinations. Our trail crews are working hard as our volunteer groups to restore the trails to a passable and usable conditions to the public. And so some of those work activities include brushing, clearing debris off the trails, clearing rock slides, landslides, and then also repairing the walking surface or tread of the trails. The gorge is a dynamic area with steep slopes and natural rockfall. But since the fire, some places have become a lot more dangerous. Vegetation and root systems that burned during the fire make the landscape unstable. Landslides and fire-weakened trees are a major concern. Restoration efforts will continue for years, so it might be a long time before some trails will reopen. Until then, closure areas must be respected for everyone's safety. Although the Eagle Creek Fire was started by human recklessness, wildfires are not unnatural events in the forest. The gorge will recover. I used to know this area like the back of my hand. I knew the curves of every hill and what's up every drainage. I'll miss what was, but I'm excited to see what becomes. The gorge will return, if not to the same majesty, then to a new form of it, equally as beautiful.